There continues to be a lot of great things happening every week. We're going to take a look at just a few of these that you may have missed. Stay tuned. Okay, so the first one up today is that Power Map, if you're familiar with that, has gotten an update where customers can actually supply their own shape files now uh, when trying to create maps for visualizations. This is actually a big request that a lot of customers have had, and I've heard some excitement out there already about the fact that you can do this. So take a look at the article that I have here. I've got some links down below in the, in the uh, description area that you can go look at more about how this works and how you can actually import your own shape files into Power Map when trying to create your own map. Number two on our list is a new content pack for Power BI with Twilio. And Twilio is really about looking at the number of calls you've made, number of text messages, understanding the cost around that, and just trying to get a handle on any of those metrics that affect your business. And so this would really be good for things like maybe call centers or uh, any type of marketing campaign type related metadata that goes along with this type of uh, technology. So if you're using Twilio, take a look at this content pack and see if it uh, would be of interest to you in terms of visualizing your data. Okay, number three, we have a new update for Power BI Designer. This is the May update. And really, this is one that I'm actually really excited about. So we've got some calculated columns. Uh, there is some categorization of data opportunities from a modeling perspective. Uh, we can uh, sort things by another column, which is actually really cool. And uh, there's also a bunch of improved uh, DAX, just function help and prototyping. Um, from a get data and transformation perspective, uh, we've got we've got a new concept of ODBC tables. So it'll help you bring in some of that ODBC data a little easier than what you could do before. Um, and then there are some other enhancements that are listed out in the blog post that you can find the link down below. All right, number four. So we're gonna look at a blog post that I saw come across my Twitter feed. Um, it's by our friend Marco, and it's about heap memory settings within analysis services tabular uh, for 2012 and 2014. So take a look at this. On the support side, we get calls about this in terms of optimizing uh, your server instance to make sure that you're either not gonna run out of memory or if you're using memory that it's optimized from a performance standpoint. Um, you can have a lot of issues for this and it, it really helps for you to understand this so that you don't run into a problem that you may regret later on or it may take down your business. So be sure to read this and uh, make sure your server is optimized in the right way. All right, number five, last one on my list, the Windows Store app finally came out for Power BI for the public preview. So now we've got iOS and we've got the Windows Store app, so you can use it on your devices in those areas. So hopefully this will allow you from a mobile perspective to easily access that data if you're in meetings or if you're just you know talking with someone on the side. Um, this allows you to just take a look at the data that you've, or the visualizations that you've created. So let me know what you think about those in the comments below, and uh, I'd, lo I'd love to hear your experience with those apps. Those are just a few things that happened. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Go ahead and leave some comments in there about which one you were more excited about, or let me know if I missed something and you think you want to share that out with everyone else. If this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe. Every Thursdays, we're going to do information roundup just like this, and we're going to also sprinkle that in with occasional Q&A. On Tuesdays, we're gonna take a look at some real customer scenarios that I see on the support side, and we're gonna sprinkle in some tips and tricks along the way, along with just looking at how things work. For example, do you wanna hear more about this? Then come back next Tuesday and we'll talk about it. Really, I'm doing all of this to help you guys succeed. I wanna put myself out of a job by not having to take support calls anymore because you have the information that you need to do what you need to do. It's a dream, but we can work on that together.